Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melvin Way. I have many plant growing series on my YouTube channel. Please check them out. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. So the first thing I did was cut a lemon in half, obviously, with a garden variety knife. And the first thing I noticed was that seven seeds were damaged. That's pretty typical. When you get served a drink in a restaurant, a glass of water, if they put a slice of lemon, you'll notice all these chopped in half seeds. It's amazing how, despite all the room in there, that you figure the seeds would have to maneuver around being surrounded by a soft pulp when you run a knife through them. The seeds are easily cut in half without being fixed in place um, with anything hard. But it's actually quite stable in there, so that's what happens. They get chopped in half. So there are 20 something seeds at least in this average lemon. It's not even a very big lemon. As you can see there, I had uh, at least 20 to 25 seeds. So the first thing you want to do is grab a towel or paper towel, use your fingers, hold it in place. Obviously you're not going to use a vise or something for some tiny seed like this. And there's a pointy end. It's very easy. Second thing you do is scrape off that end in any direction and start peeling off the seed coat after you've fixed it in place. So these things, despite being dried out to some degree by the towel or a slippery and the rest is just this slow but um, relatively easy process of peeling off additional layers of seed coat and they come off in strips like that so you can opt to do this without gloves too of course but these are very acidic fruits full of citric acid there are five to six percent citric acid so that's a fair bit of acid to be dealing with getting under your fingernails and whatnot if you're going to sit here and peel 20 something seeds which i initially thought i was going to do but i realized how much work it was so these seeds feel like hard kernels of corn that's their appearance as well i guess you could say they look like miniature acorns or whatever but i'd say they look like kernels of corn so it takes a lot of time to do just five and that's the amount I ended up going with. I figured unless I'm doing some kind of fundamental damage to these, you know, because this is my first time, maybe if I'm scraping off the tip too hard, I'm damaging something and ripping off the root tips or whatever, then these things can't even get started. But it turns out not to be the case. And the first time was good enough. I peeled five of these, ripped them out of their seed coats, and there was nothing that required delicacy. You just need to spend time and hunker down and start peeling away until you're done. And it takes a long time, actually. I mean, I fast forwarded through a lot of this footage and edited out all the bloopers, such as dropping the seeds because they're slippery and then picking them up and whatnot. And I didn't show everything here, so oftentimes you'll peel and you'll wipe and you'll peel and you'll wipe and you'll notice there are extra strips of seed coat on like that. I would say what you see here, that last strip of seed coat, that wasn't even necessary to remove. Seed coats often prevent water from getting in contact with the seed right away. So if there's a jelly on a seed, a slimy coat or whatever, you can just rub that away and you'll be good to go. The seeds will start absorbing water and nutrients once their root systems become active and they'll be good to go. So that's it in a nutshell. I have four here but later on I did one more. You can see the seeds that have been cut in half so easily by the knife right here which is a common sight in restaurant water cups and all these other seeds as well. So that's basically it for the peeling seed coats part of the tutorial. And after that, I had this pot that was pretty much ready to go. I had sterilized by steaming this potting mix and used it to grow cantaloupes for 22 days. It was a very short filler series. So I decided to reuse this pot as is without a repeat sterilization after just three weeks. 
to prevent spider mites and fungus gnats from taking a hold. It was very clean seemingly and you can see all the ripped stems of cantaloupe seedlings, the leaves, and the old seed coats. So I planted these five seeds sideways and just sprinkled a tiny bit of dirt on them. I didn't want to pack down too hard and I didn't want to have them go through too much dirt to sprout. So just a few millimeters is enough, one centimeter at the most. So I'm doing some light fertilization with miracle Grow for general purpose growth. And I'm also fertilizing with a men's daily multivitamin. This is a generic version of the kind I eat to save on cost since I'm doing this a lot these days. So a multivitamin has all these micronutrients, um, trace metal elements and whatnot in there so that would provide for anything that the soil might be lacking in and the miracle grow provides for three of the main macronutrients that plants typically need for fast growth nitrogen potassium phosphorus so i'm doing some light watering very sparingly just so the nutrients that i've scattered on here will only go in a tiny bit and not be washed all the way to the middle of the bottom of the soil that would be pointless so the reason I'm doing this right now is because I want the roots that will become active after maybe just a day or two to start absorbing nutrients and get a much quicker start so that was a passion fruit flower please check out my growing passion fruits from seed series it's day 11 and I noticed a typical bulge in the potting mix and upon some further investigation, I saw that there was a sprout underneath. And I actually wasn't sure that this was a lemon tree sprout as opposed to a cantaloupe seed that had just become active after I had removed everything else. So I don't see a bulge anywhere else. And the next day, I noticed that there were two sprouts. I moved this pot on day 11 over to be next to my mango pot because I wasn't sure it was getting the optimal amount of sunlight. It was on the left end of this table. But in the end, it seemed that the lemon tree series was progressing as fast as the mango tree series had, despite the much smaller seeds. It took 13 days for sprouts to come out of the ground. So I'll show you very soon. So this is still day 12 watering sparingly only to wet the top layer of potting mix every one to two days because that's what dries out since i've watered previously for the cantaloupe series i'm sure that everything in the bottom beneath was already wet so it's day 13 and i finally have two sprouts towards me towards the front of the pot where i'm standing in terms of orientation because the rim of the pot blocks some of the sunlight from hitting the potting mix um, at the far end. So it's always these two, especially in this corner, the lower right, that's what germinates first and sprouts because it receives the greatest amount of sunlight. My balcony is west facing and it receives some of that southwest sun every day. So I can remove some of this stuff and let the leaves have an easier time to unfurl but otherwise, after I'm done showing you, I'm just going to put a chunk of potting mix to the south of it, southwest of it, to make sure that this seed that's exposed won't dry out because I'm sure the root system is not far away. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you can see the seed has sort of a reddish color there. I'm not sure where the root is here, but you can see the and those sperm, it's turned green as well from exposure to light. After this unfurls and starts growing, I'm going to sprinkle on some dry potty mix to cover all that stuff up if anything's exposed. Do a little bit of micromanagement to fill the gaps and ensure everything gets a good start. So I'm doing spot fertilization again with miracle Grow, And I'm just watering enough to dissolve most of the crystals don't necessarily have to dissolve everything. I can save that for next time when I water. 
but I don't want to again wash the nutrients too deep and deprive these seedlings of access to these nutrients that I'm giving them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial on how to get started for growing lemon trees from seeds. Please come back to my YouTube channel for further updates often. Thanks for watching.